after the 150 people, how do you come down from that? How do you, how do you find yourself again? Just well, that was often rest? when I got ta- caught in Twitter traps, you know, because I'm so burnt out by then from the from the talk and the and the audience interactions and the whole day because yeah. it's a new city, it's a new hotel, it's yes. it's a new 5,000 people, it's a new book chapter, it's a whole new horizon of ideas. And it's off to another city the next day. I'm so burnt out by then that I'm not as good at controlling my impulses as I might be. And Twitter was a real catastrophe for that because it would hook me. And then I couldn't, like I used to, when I was working on my book a lot, I used to call Tammy. I'd say, look, you have to come and get me. I can't stop. Mm-hmm. I can't stop. I got tired. Of it, and then I kind of, because it's part of a kind of hypo, hypomanic focus. Yeah. I couldn't quit. It's like, oh no, I, I'm still writing. I need to get away from this, but I couldn't yeah. stop. And so it's better to, to read something, a book. Fiction, nonfiction. Fiction. Rel- Stephen uh, King. I was reading a lot of Stephen King when I was on tour last time. That was good. I like Stephen King a so lot. Great so. narratives. Great, and great characterization, you know? So, and there's a familiarity about Stephen King's writing too, that it's, he writes about people, you know, Mm -hmm. and so I really found that a relief. And so that was useful. 